Hello everyone. The Troves of the Thunder King is a one-man scenario during which you are given 5 minutes to loot chests from the Thunder King's citadel, earning you a lot of gold and a myriad of valuable items for your daily quests. You are to enter the scenario, you need to speak with Taoshi in the Shadowpan cave and give her a key to the palace of Lei Shen. These keys are sometimes dropped by mobs while you quest on the isle. They are epic quality items, so you will easily notice when you loot one. Once inside, speak with Taoshi again to open the door to the citadel and start the 5 minute timer. The instance has a very linear design and there are a few closed doors that will hinder your progression, but they are easily opened. During your run, you will need to be careful not to get hit by any of the traps as they will greatly slow you down. The first traps you will encounter are lightning towers which damage you and slow you down and mogu statues which fall on you and stun you. Fortunately, there are green runes scattered all around the place to increase your running speed. Opening the doors is done by pulling a lever located next to them. Make sure to kill the small spider guarding the place before pulling the lever as it keeps interrupting you otherwise. Every time you open a door, you enter a small corridor leading to the next room where you will find traps similar to those in Guolai during your Golden Lotus daily quests. Avoid them. Note that pets will often trigger the traps. On the sides of these corridors, there are higher grounds where you can climb and find more chests. The instance also features red runes which will stun you, patrolling zandalaris and quillens which you need to avoid or kill, and sentries that will fire a damaging beam of light at your location if you enter their range. You may be tempted to spend a lot of time looting the mogu treasure chests, the smaller chests, but it is more profitable to speed through the instance as the last room has the highest concentration of golden treasure chests, the bigger chests. The door to exit this room can be opened by using either of the two levers next to it. We found that the left lever is the most accessible, provided you only pull the Zandalari troll and not the nearby Quillen. In the next room, you will have to defeat two stone sentries, one on the left and one on the right. There are Quillen statues as well, but they only activate if you fight a stone sentry next to them, so we advise you to simply pull both stone sentries towards the middle and kill them together. Then go to the left to use the lever. This will open the door on the right. The final room features the boss of the instance, God Hulk Gul Khan. He is guarding two golden treasure chests and is carrying a third one on his back. To defeat him we advise you to use all your offensive cooldowns and watch out for ground effects. Most of the damage he deals is avoidable, but while fighting him you will most likely pull a few nearby mobs, so be prepared. To exit the dungeon, you can talk to Tenwu who is located in the corner of the room. Note that if you fail to reach Tenwu, you will be teleported out of the dungeon, but you will get to keep all the golden items you looted. After exiting the dungeon, you will find yourself in a room full of burial troves, which you can open using a burial trove key. These keys are given to you when you successfully exit the instance by reaching Tenwu and talking to him. In the Hall of the Thunder King is the achievement related to the instance. It requires you to complete four objectives. In this video we have shown you two, namely killing god Hulk Gulkan and reaching Tenwu. Another one consists in opening ten golden treasure chests in a single run, regardless of whether or not you actually reach Tenwu. The last objective is a bit more complicated to figure out, so we will explain it in detail. Sometimes, when you open a golden treasure chest, a Saurok thief will come out of it. He runs very fast and is difficult to catch, but if you manage to slow or root him and then defeat him, he will drop the handful of stolen gems that you need to complete the objective. To help you go through the dungeon, you will be able to buy useful items from your faction's quartermaster on the island. They will enable you to walk over water and traps, to distract your enemies, freeze them or put them to sleep, and to reach otherwise inaccessible places. This is it for our presentation of the Troves of the Thunder King scenario. We hope that you found it useful and we remind you that subscribing to our channel will get you notified of our new videos.